Hi, this is Ed from The Strawberry Tree. We're in lockdown in Lyme Regis, like everyone else, thinking of things to do. So we wanted to bring you a little video of something that is one of our favorites to do at home. It's really simple and quick and easy, and it's hummus made in a Nutribullet or a kind of a blender if you've got something else. And I'm gonna show you very quickly today how to make it. So the ingredients are really, really simple. If you look down here, I'll show you what we've got. So you need a Nutribullet or something to blend it in. Any kind of mixer will do, but these work really well. A tin of chickpeas, some tahini paste, which is just sesame paste. If you haven't got that, use peanut butter, some olive oil, a lemon, and a clove of garlic. And that's it. A little bit of salt. And if you want to put some spices in, like some cumin or coriander, then that works really well. Right, let's put it together. <laughs> so how easy is it to make? Let me show you. So we've got the Nutribullet. Into that, I have rinsed the chickpeas under a bit of water and put the whole lot, the whole tin into there. Then added a really good tablespoon of the tahini paste. I love the flavor of that. You can put more or less in as, as, as you want, but um, I like it really sort of nutty. We've crushed a clove of garlic, put that in. I grated the zest of a whole lemon and I put the juice of half of it in. So that's gone in there. Put a really good slug of olive oil, which I love. It makes it really creamy and it adds amazing flavor too. And then I put a good pinch of ground coriander because that's personally how I like it. It goes really well with the lemon and a really good sort of tablespoon, mm, teaspoon actually, not tablespoon, of salt, because the chickpeas themselves are really bland. So it just brings those flavors together and makes it a bit more punchy. And that's it. Literally gonna put the lid on and blitz it up, see what happens. So there we have it, all blitzed up. That now contains hopefully some really nice hummus. So we just get that out and pop it into a bowl. And that has got to be better than anything you can get from Tesco's or anywhere else. There's loads of lovely variations you can do on it as well. If you haven't got any chickpeas, you can use another pulse. It's good with butter beans. You can probably even try it with lentils. Um, you can put half a red pepper in there that gives it a little bit of sweetness and lovely color and a bit of different flavor. Um, you can use peanut butter instead of the tahini. You can use lots of different kinds of spices, whatever you've got on your spice shelf. It goes well with smoked paprika, um, lovely cumin, fennel, coriander. Um, just experiment with it really and have some fun. And then we just eat it with sliced cucumber, goes really well, or carrot sticks, or tortilla chips, or just with a spoon on its own. And in fact, I've got one son who even makes hummus sandwiches, if that's your thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. We are really missing our pop-up evenings and all our customers, but hopefully we'll be back to normal soon. And we really look forward to seeing all of you in Lyme Regis at the Galley Cafe or in Maiden Newton over near Dorchester very soon. Y hasta entonces, pues nada, nos vemos muy pronto. Adiós.